This is Digital Podcaster, hosted by Dylan Schmidt. It's that time again. Bonjour. I never know if I'm saying that right, but I always want to say bonjour. Every entrance, you know, you can't just start it out. Hello, hi, hi there. You know, I've, it's funny when you start podcasting, you wonder, what do you say in the beginning of an episode? Because, man, yeah, I don't know, you can say a lot of things. How do you start it out? There's no real one way to start it out, right? What do you say when you start a podcast? What are the first words you say? Also, what were the first words you said when you were born? That's what I want to know. So what is going on? Just a recap. If you listened or didn't listen to a last, the last episode, I recorded that episode in an Airstream RV trailer thing I made. I made. I didn't make it. Airstream RV thing. I stayed Airbnb over the weekend and I was doing a solo trip the trip before that one which was a few months ago maybe like six eight months ago I came up with the idea for digital podcaster so when I took this trip last week and I was wondering oh no two weekends ago now you know I was wondering I don't know what's going to come up now I didn't you know really know what came on that first trip I took because uh Digital Podcaster came a couple months after that. It wasn't like I just left that weekend, but I figured it would be at least a decent idea to keep you updated on my takeaways from that solo trip a couple weeks ago. And really not much has come out out of it. I got to say, I was expecting, I don't really know what I didn't go in with a lot of plans and I didn't walk out with a lot either because I've been so busy with work and uh, just creating stuff that you know, I kind of saw it as a time to relax and just step away from working and thinking about creating and just kind of see what comes up. So I guess in a way it kind of served its purpose there, but there was so much traffic getting up there that, I don't know, it wasn't really the getaway that I hoped it was going to be. So still not a whole lot to report on that front. Not a lot of takeaways other than patience because this felt like I was waiting everywhere. But I did have a couple ideas that I wanted to share with you on this episode, specifically talking about the state of this podcast and what's next and kind of what's going on with this podcast. So basically, I'm creating this podcast from scratch. I am doing it in a way that there's no real there's no real method, rhyme or reason to it all, except for the fact is I think it would be cool to document things as starting the podcast and then kind of almost a journal slash blog slash educational tool to then be able to go back and look at, you know, what it is I did from the beginning as I keep going through it. Because I think what I I would think is in about a year or so, we'll check back in about a year or so, you're going to see like a major transformation and it's cool to see that transformation. And that only happens you, you know, I don't know. You got to to transform. You got to start from something to something else, right? You don't just stay the same. That's not really a a transformation. If there's like a weight loss transformation and someone was at 190 pounds and then they're at 190 pounds again, that's not really a transformation. (laughs) That's more just staying the same. So if you ideally you're watching this or listening to this and uh, maybe you're coming back and revisiting it and I'm talking to you in the future, and you're like, wow, this is Dylan in the future, whatever. I mean, regardless, it's in the future because you're not live with me right now. But (laughs) the idea is to capture that transformation in recordings. I think that's always cool to see, and it's fun to be a part of that too. So in in one way or another, you're, you're a part of that, and that's pretty cool. And thank you for being a part of that because I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted or granted, and I appreciate it, and it makes it more fun sharing this journey, which I found to be the theme of today's episode. I had to point it out was connecting, connection, and connection is the name of the game for me in doing Digital Podcaster because I am great at just doing my own thing, lone wolf, lone ranger, whatever you want to call it, just... You know, I could just work, do my thing, whatever. 
But what I've created with Digital Podcaster is forcing me to put myself out there, forcing me to, you know, connect with people that I would have never connected with otherwise. And it's already been crazy magnificent at that. And it's just weird to think like all the connections I've made, like I do thinking about that sometimes because it's um, kind of mind blowing to me of just having an idea, throwing it out there and then meeting a bunch of people. And now my conversations are people like all over the world. I always, you know, I've traveled around the world a bunch, but I've always, you know, for the most part, you connect with people usually in your same country and your same, you know, in your same area, sometimes even in your same state, you know, but I've been connecting with people all over the freaking world. I've been connecting with people in India, Australia, Ireland, I think Ireland. Oh no, Ireland, Australia is the same person. And where else? Oh my gosh. I can't even think England, different parts of the U S I don't even, I can't even Portugal. I can't even list them, think of it all right now, but it would be cool to see on a map. And I didn't really picture that when I started, I just kind of thought I would post, maybe nobody would like it and it probably but I got help from my man, Adam in Egypt, who I connected with on Instagram. And he just gave me words of encouragement that like, you know, I didn't even know I needed. And it just kind of kept me going. And there were like lulls, you know, cause there was like nobody at first paying attention. And then, you know, I don't know. It's just like when you have someone else asking you for pieces of, it makes you want to then show up with them. And so I would give him you know, I basically need to give him these pieces of content and then he would then design them up. So I'd give him the text and then he'd design them up and then post them. And then, you know, I've done this for other people for years. And so it was funny because so much, you know, I'm like, well, why do it for myself? Even though everyone around me would tell me, do it for yourself. If you're doing it for them, do it for yourself. So what would I do? I wouldn't do it for myself. I would just do it for other people. And the something about just like giving him the text, giving him the copy, the words would be called for the posts, just changed the game for me in a lot of ways. And he would then post and I could feel like I was then the observer watching an account. And I could then also kind of play with it and be like, oh, I don't like this. I like that. Let's go in this direction. Because, you know, when you're doing everything from the idea to the design, to the posting, to the critiquing, it's hard to get like a look at that. But if you can kind of give a starter for something and then someone else throws in their vision and then you can look at it, like you kind of skip a step there with the whole creating the designing part. To me, I don't know. It's It's been, it's worked out pretty, not for every step of the business, but for that, at least social media part, it really helped feel like give it legs and see what I liked and didn't like, which made it a lot, it made growing a lot easier than than it would have just by myself. Cause I, I know I would have given up somewhere around the July and I told Adam this a lot and I don't work with Adam anymore, but not that nothing against them. I just don't work where I don't really feel like I need them anymore. Cause it got like to this point where it's, Oh, you know, I get help in different areas of the business, but as far as the social media business, I didn't really need help there. So I, I just, you know, do the, some of the design stuff my own now, but it helped get me to this point and I'm getting more help now with with some of the social media stuff, but it helped me get to this point where I was able to focus on more of the connection with people because the design, like a lot of the time consuming part of creating the content was handled. So I could just focus on connecting. And as I was like focusing on connecting, I was like, Oh cool. They're engaging with my content. Cool. It doesn't totally feel like it's my content because I'm not like the person doing every step of it, which you know, I don't need to be the person doing every step of it. It's again, all the stuff I tell everybody else, but it's hard to tell it myself. So, you know, I didn't need to be the person doing all that. I could let him do that. And then I could focus on the connection. And then I started forming these real connections with people. And it was like pretty awesome to see that transformation, I guess, happen of something from scratch then becomes a little something and it's going to grow into something even more and knowing that, but that only happens because I get help along the way. It's, I feel like I start from scratch, just having an idea and, you know, I get help from different sources. It helps me get to this next stage where then I like can breathe a little bit because I'm getting help in some form and I can focus on that, some other thing in the business. It's like different seasons of life, you know, and then I'm good, but you know, like not by myself, but like kind of doing it a little bit more by myself to get to this next level. And then I'm at this new level now where 
you know, I'm I'm just growing things and it's starting to get a little bit more interesting. And it's funny because this whole time I've thought of this as like an experiment and it is an experiment, but at, uh, at the same time, it's like, it's also become a legitimate business now. So there's that. I mean, it's not like I, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird when you do it and you do it for yourself and you, you don't really think about all the things in your head of, well, this will for sure work out because you don't know. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't work out. And why should this work out when other stuff has failed, right? And I guess that would be imposter syndrome, but it is working out and it's cool to see that growth. And I guess the connecting with people has really been the name of the game for me because without that connecting, without that connection, none of this stuff would be happening. It's like you can't grow something by yourself, whether it's getting help with the designs, getting help with some sales stuff, getting help with, I mean, of course there's like the apps and stuff I get help with, but I'm talking like real humans. It's even with clients, like the only reason the clients, the clients are humans and I treat them as humans and we have real relationships and those real relationships, there's an exchange there and that's all connection. And I've always felt, you know, I have, I'm, I'm empathetic in a lot of ways. I've always felt easy c- to connect with people, but you know, at the same time, people can also be draining. So it seems, you know, kind of scary in a way where you're like, oh, my connection is the name of the game. And now I'm going to have to do that more and more. But if I can, if, if not, if, because I can build in strategies to regulate that more it's not as much of an issue so that's the thoughts about that and that's this week's episode short sweet i think it's short i don't know how long i've been going but yeah (laughs) geez i don't know it doesn't sound upper it doesn't sound like an upper episode at all but it's uh it is an upper i promise a little tired just busy busy past few days so yeah so things coming up next on this podcast so I'll be featuring interviews of, with people that I'll be doing. I'm interviewing, I've already been interviewing all sorts of different people. I'm going to chat with people on this podcast and be doing these solo episodes. I haven't quite figured out the schedule yet, but it will probably be something where we do, you know, probably every Tuesday is just like a solo episode. I want to make it a little bit more blog, educational, like some some type of takeaway, not just like me teaching you one particular thing every week. But maybe sharing a story, maybe it'll just be me teaching you one thing a week. I kind of want to keep it open. I don't want to make it too pigeonholed. And then I don't know about every week there being an interview, but most weeks there will be an interview and I'll try to separate that a little bit. You know, maybe put that later in the put that later in the week, probably Thursday or Friday or Saturday. I don't know. One of those days I got to figure out a day. Maybe Saturday. Saturday kind of feels like a good day. Also doesn't feel like the week, you know, I don't know. It feels kind of good on a Saturday. We'll try that maybe. But yeah, if you want to start your own podcast, just send me an email to hello at digitalpodcaster.com. I've got trainings. I'm most active right now on Instagram at digitalpodcaster. So find me on there. Say hello. If you're not on Instagram, I don't really know what you're doing. If you're more of that Twitter life, I'm on Twitter at digipodcaster. And that's where you can say hi. And uh, I'm active on Twitter too. Active on all of them. But yeah, thanks for listening. Again, I mean it. And I appreciate the support. And if you are interested in podcasting, hit me up. All right. I'll talk to you later.